So now let's take a look at some of the features of the Sekonic Pro Digi Color C500. We can see that the Pro Digi has a swivel head that swivels 270 degrees. It houses the flat diffuser that incorporates the four sensors that measure for both film and digital. It also measures for flash and ambient. As we move down, we'll see that there is a large LCD screen that is backlit. From there, we move to the power button that turns the meter on and off. To the right of that, we have a jog wheel. The jog wheel allows us to increase or decrease our settings, and it allows us to select different modes when we push the mode button at the same time. Below the jog wheel, you'll see a keypad. The keypad allows us to select various different displays, functions, and modes. When we turn the meter over to the right side, we notice that there is the measure button, which also acts as the OK button when we're in the menu mode. If we look to the left side of the meter, there's also a button that allows us to memorize values, or in the menu mode, it allows us to go back. The meter also has, to the lower right-hand corner, a PC connection, if we want to fire our flash with a PC cord. And if we look at the back of the meter, we'll find that there is a battery compartment door that houses two convenient AA batteries. Okay, so let's turn the meter on so that we can see what's going to be displayed on the LCD screen. Let's start in the upper left-hand corner. The first thing we'll see is the battery indicator. Right now, the battery indicator is showing that we have a full, fresh battery. To the right of that, there are four icons. These are the measuring mode icons. The first is for ambient light. That's for measuring, you know, just available light in the room or uh, artificial light that's continuous. If we hold the mode button down here and turn the jog wheel, the little box will move over to three different choices of flash. The first is flash without a cord or auto. The second is flash triggered by a PC cord. And the last is flash triggered by radio or radio triggering. When we select that, we go to this screen. And you'll see here it says CH for channel. And that means we can select anything from 1 all the way up to channel 32. When we go past channel 16 to channel 17 and above, we also get sub-channels where we can select up to four different zones, A, B, C, and D. And Taconic made it really convenient to turn these zones on and off. The keypad has an A, a B, a C, and a D right there. All I do is just toggle them on and off and those sub-channels turn on and off so that I can quickly measure individual light sources to find out what their color temperatures are without having interference from other light sources. When I'm ready, I simply hit the measure button and it's ready to go. Very, very cool. Let's go back to continuous light, press the measure button, and see what happens. We'll see that in the lower right-hand corner of the meter, uh, a value of CC1 magenta, and the Kelvin temperature, or K, is 2950. So the meter is telling us that right now that's the color temperature of the room light that we're in, and we need a 1cc magenta to correct for that. But what else can this meter do? Well, if we hit the blue display button here, suddenly the meter LCD changes, and we have 5500 K or 5500 Kelvin show up. That's our target. That's what we're trying to achieve. We can change that by hitting the set Kelvin button and turning the jog wheel. Now we can select whatever we like. I'm gonna stay at 5500 Kelvin daylight. As we move down, we see that we're in the CC filter and LB filter screen. On this screen, it gives me the information that I need to put filtration in front of the lens to balance the light source and correct. If we hit the blue display button again, now we still see the set target, which is 5500 Kelvin, but we also see CC index and LB index. These are the suggested color compensating and light balancing filters to gel our lights to get them just right. If we hit that display again, we go into something really cool. This color meter not only measures color, but it also measures luminance. And in this particular case, we're looking at a number of 1250 LX. That's Lux, great for cine video photographers. And if we hit it one more time, surprise, we see FC for 
foot candles, 116. So we can measure the luminance in both Lux and foot candles. Pretty cool, huh? Let's press the menu button and see what's available for us there. The first thing we see is digital slash film. This is where we're able to select if we want the meter to measure color temperature for digital, capture, or for film. If we hit the measure button, which acts as an OK button in the menu mode, we see that the digital word is blinking. If we turn the jog wheel, we can select between digital and film. For this particular example, let's select digital and hit the measure button for OK. Next, we'll turn the jog wheel to go to the set range function. The set range function allows us to select high or low flash sensitivity range. In the low sensitivity range, the ProDigi color measures flash output from F2.8 to F22. If we select the high range, the high range allows us to measure flash from F16 to F90. We're going to set it to the low setting and press the OK button. Now let's turn the jog wheel to the next setting. The next setting is white balance compensation. The white balance compensation is a cool function. If we hit the OK button, it takes us into a preset area. The preset area allows us to select a particular color temperature, CC correction, and light balancing correction. And it also allows us eight characters to give identification to what that preset is. This particular preset is for my fluorescent lighting setting. So that if I ever need to go back to that particular image to shoot again, I have all my information available for me. It's also a great place for me to put in my custom color balance information for various different cameras because from one camera to the next, the color balance is not exactly the same. So I can tweak out the color meter to work perfectly for a particular camera, and I can put down the name of that camera or description of that camera in the presets. I can select up to 19 different presets in the ProDigi color that I can refer back to. Once we've selected the preset that we want or made the changes, we want to go to the next setting. So we'll hit the button on the left side, which is the back button. That brings us back to the white balance compensation. By turning the jog wheel, it takes us to custom settings. This is where we can actually select our own preferences to set up the, the color meter the way we like to work. The first is shutter speed. This is where we can select full, third, and half stop increments. The next is Kelvin temperature. This is where we can actually select the different steps of Kelvin that we want to measure. The third is light balancing steps. The fourth custom setting is light balancing filters. Here's where we can choose either Fuji or Kodak Rattan filters. The fifth is auto off. This allows us to select how quickly the meter will turn off after we uh, don't use it. We have the ability of choosing 20 minutes, 10 minutes, and five minutes. And finally, the sixth custom function is to set the display for luminosity. If I press the OK button, I can choose just to display foot candle, lux, or lux and foot candle. When I'm done, I hit OK, and if I hit the menu button again, then the menu button takes us back to the main display. The Siconic Pro Digi Color also has a color and illuminance memory button located here. If I take a measurement, and then hit the memory button, I can actually hold the measure button and I can see the differences of either illuminance or color depending upon what I'm measuring. So if I wanted to see what the fall off was of light on a diffuser, I can do that. And if I wanted to see what the shift in color is from my memorized point to other points of the light source, I can see that as well. Once you master your tools and your techniques, you'll be able to achieve the results that you expect and the results that your clients demand.